Hey, Mount 31, I had a question coming out of section 2.2, number 37, and here we were asked to graph these two linear functions and see if they were parallel. So the, the linear functions as given to us were right here, 3x minus 2y is equal to 5, and 6y minus 9x is equal to 6. And if I want to graph a function, for me personally, I want to get the function in slope-intercept form, and when I say slope-intercept form, that's when I'm asking about, hey, can you get it into y is equal to mx plus b? That's the form I prefer to graph from. And basically what that means is I want to take this equation and solve for the y variable in each of those positions. So I use some algebra, get y all isolated on the left side of the equation. And for this first equation, I can see that my slope is 3 halves. So let me make that a fraction. And my y-intercept is the ordered pair is 0, negative 5 halves. All right, and so what I wound up doing was, you can see that's the blue line here. Let me just put that this one is the blue line. This one winds up being the orange line. So you can see my blue line, I started at negative 5 halves on the y-axis, and then I quite literally go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2, and there's the next point on my graph. And I'm saying go up 3 over 2 because you see, the y part of my slope, the change in y over change in x, that's saying go positive 3, so up 3. Positive 2 on the denominator says go to the right 2. So I'll do it again. I'll go up 1, 2, 3, and then I'll go to the right 1, 2, and there's my next ordered pair. And when I connect those dots, I get the blue line. And on the second line here, right, when I wind up solving for my y variable, again, I see my slope is 3 halves, and, and that's actually my first clue that the lines are parallel because parallel lines have the same slopes. And my y-intercept in this case is positive one. Oops, let me write that as an ordered pair. So for this orange line, you see me starting at zero, one, and then I go up one, two, three, and go to the right, two, one, two, because that's what the slope said to do. And then I can go up three over two again, or if I want, I could go the other way. I could actually, I could start, let me use a different color pen just so you see it. I can start at zero, one, and I can actually go down three, one, two, three, Oops, excuse me, one, two, three, and then I can go to the right two, there we go. And I, I, can, I can write another ordered pair that way. And, and the reason I'm allowed to do that is because this slope of three halves is technically equivalent to negative three over negative two as well. And this would tell me to go down and left, whereas when they're both positive, I'm gonna go up and right. Because the slope is always telling us to move in two of four directions, right? We, we basically have up, down, left, right. So I gotta pick one of the up, downs, and one of the left, rights. Anywho, once we get to graphing all of this, I can see that the lines don't touch, they are parallel. And that's it. I have gone ahead, I've graphed my functions, and I can see that they're parallel, but I would argue you could have seen it algebraically just a little bit earlier. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.